Hi, I'm Pink Lemonade Guy, and in this video I'll be explaining and breaking down the zombies and infected in the Left 4 Dead games. I'll be explaining their powers and what they do, and all the different kinds of zombies that you will encounter when playing. So let's hop to it. So first you have your run-of-the-mill standard common infected. They're just people that got infected with the virus, and they can attack in a horde. Um, they are attracted to sound, like as, like with a pipe bomb, or with car alarms, and they are also attracted to boomer bile. So if you use boomer bile and you hit it like far away, then they will go towards that and you can easily knock out the horde. They also have low health, and they can easily be killed with one swing of your melee weapon or gun. And... Unless you're an expert or advanced, then you, I think in advanced, you have to chop off their head to kill them. I'm not too sure. Also, if you stay in one place too long, then the game will summon a horde of them to come and get you. And you can easily get overwhelmed if you don't have enough ammo or if you don't knock them back. This next part I'll be explaining the uncommon infected. They're kind of similar to the common infected. They just have higher health, but not by much, and you, they can still easily be dealt with. And they also have certain types of gimmicks that make them immune to some things. And they can only be found in Left 4 Dead 2 or the Left 4 Dead 1 DLC on that disc. So the first uncommon infected you will find is the Cedo Worker. They can be found in Left 4 Dead 2's Dead Center campaign, and they are dressed in hazmat suits, and thus are immune to fire from Molotov cocktails and um, fire bullets. There's also a chance that after you kill them, they will drop a boomer bile. Jimmy Gibbs Jr. is a very rare uncommon infected that can only be found at the end of the Dead Center campaign in the mall's atrium when you're filling up his stock car to escape. He has 3,000 health. He is immune to fire and the lure of pipe bombs and bile bombs. Also, when he attacks you, he'll leave oil in your vision, thus making it hard to see. He is so rare that it says, according to the Left 4 Dead site, that he only spawns every 14 to 15 days in the final act. The Fallen Survivor is an uncommon infected that can only be found in the Passing DLC campaign. He is dressed in military attire and will run away if you shoot or provoke him. He is also carrying he can sometimes be carrying a Molotov cocktail, pipe bomb, pain pills, or a first aid kit. When he's running away, he's very fast, and he also has high health, so it can be hard to catch him. And he's also immune to flames, but not a boomer bile or the pipe bomb. The clown zombies are uncommon infected that can only be found in the Dark Carnival campaign. When they see survivors, they will charge and then lure other zombies with them because they have squeaky shoes, since the zombies are attracted to sound, which can easily overwhelm survivors and the zombies may gang up on them. Also, if you sh perform a shove action on them or shove them back or bash them back, their noses will squeak. And then sometimes their flowers on their chest will squirt water. The mud men are uncommon infected that can be found in the swamp fever level of Left 4 Dead 2. They take the form of of zombies that have just like crawled out of the swamps or grave and they run on all fours and fast so it makes them significantly harder to aim at. And also when they hit you they blind you with mud which is an inconvenience. The Construction Worker are uncommon infected that can be found in the Hard Rain level of Left 4 Dead 2. 
They are dressed in, um, well, construction work attire, and they ignore pipe bombs and bio bombs. Unless a bio bomb hits another zombie, then they are attracted to it. The riot police zombies are a type of uncommon infected that can be found in the Parish campaign of Left 4 Dead 2. They are immune to all gunfire except for the chainsaw, explosions, and flames, and they can only be killed with gunfire if you spin them around and shoot them in the back. They also can drop a nightstick if you kill them. Now in this part I'll explain the special infected. These are zombies that have special powers that can greatly hinder the survivors and damage them. The Boomer is a type of special infected that was introduced in Left 4 Dead 1. They take the form of big, fat, bloated zombies that will throw up on you, thus blinding you and attracting a horde of zombies to your area and whatever survivor they threw up on. Although they are slow and low on health, so they can easily be dealt with from afar. But if you're too close to them, when you kill them, after they die, they explode, hence their name, and they will cover you in bile. There's also a female form that was introduced in Left 4 Dead 2 that can be encountered in the swamp fever level onward. This is the music that plays when they are nearby. While the boomer was in early development, its vomiting effect was actually kind of different. Instead of th throwing up bile on you and attracting the zombies, all it did was damage upon whoever it threw up on. Same with when it exploded too close to you. And it was also red instead of green. This was later changed to what it is now currently. The hunter is a type of special infected that was introduced in Left 4 Dead 1. It takes the form of a small man in a blue hoodie that crawls on all fours and makes low growling or snarling sounds. He can jump long distances and pin survivors. When a special infected pins a survivor, they will not let go until the infected kills the survivor or if another survivor friend um, shoves it off or rescues the survivor being pinned. You can also save yourself if a hunter is jumping at you. If you time it correctly, you can actually shove them back and prevent them from getting you. This is the music that comes on when they are nearby. The Hunter also had a secondary effect while in the game was in its early stages. It could actually crawl up upon walls and on ceilings and wait for there to attack you. This was deemed too annoying by beta testers to be dealt with, so it was removed. The Smoker is a type of special infected that was introduced in Left 4 Dead 1. He takes the form of a man with cancerous lumps, or boils, all over his arms and face. And he also has a long, protruding tongue that sticks out of his mouth. He will use the tongue to wrap up survivors from afar and drag them away, which will result in them getting pinned. If the survivor is pinned, they will not be let go until the smoker kills them, or, is, ki or is, is killed, or the survivor is rescued. You can also shoot the tongue from afar and uh, let the survivor free, thus not needing to kill the smoker. When the smoker dies, it lets out a plume of smoke, which makes the survivors disoriented if they go into the cloud. This is the music that plays when they're nearby. The Charger is a type of special infected that was introduced in Left 4 Dead 2. It takes the form of a zombie with a big arm, and it can charge at high speeds, hence its name, towards a group of survivors. It's capable of knocking all of the team down and grabbing one survivor and pinning him or her. The Charger will not let the survivor go unless the Charger kills the survivor or the Charger himself is killed. Chargers cannot be shoved back normally like other zombies can, but they can be stumbled when hit with frag ammunition or the grenade launcher. 
They are also capable of knocking survivors off of high places, thus killing them. Like in the hotel, or the, the roller coaster. This is the music that comes on when they are nearby. The jockey is a type of special infected that was introduced in Left 4 Dead 2. It takes the form of a small, minuscule zombie that, that has a hunchback and laughs maniacally as it's nearby. It can jump on a survivor and kind of hump them, hump their head, and drag them away from their group. They will only let go if the survivor is put in the incapacitated state. It can also um, drag you to cliffs and ledges, but it actually won't let make you fall off. You'll actually just grab onto the ledge while the jockey falls off, which is hilarious to witness. <laughs> Although, be it, it's very rare. Also, if you, it's a lot harder to do, but if you time it correctly, then you can also shove the jockey before it jumps on you, kind of like the hunter. But the jockey's a lot harder to time. This is the music that plays when they are nearby. A question that's sometimes asked by the Left 4 Dead player base is, how come there's no child zombies? I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse and I know innocence stripped of everything, and you'd expect there to be some children that are living and surviving or undead, but there isn't. But there's actually a theory that the jockey is actually supposed to be a child zombie because it's short, it laughs crazily, it's rowdy and energetic, like a child would be, and also, when it jumps on you, it gets on your shoulders, kind of like how a child would it to its parents. This spitter is a type of special infected introduced in Left 4 Dead 2. She takes the form of a tall woman with a split open neck and mouth. And she spits acid, hence her name, which, which can pool if it hits a survivor and damage survivors if they stand in it. Although her power can easily be avoided, the longer you stand in it, the more damage it does to you. Also, when you kill her, she leaves a small puddle around her body, but it can also easily be avoided. This is the music that comes on when she's nearby. The witch is a type of special infected that was introduced in Left 4 Dead 1. She has two forms, a sitting witch and a wandering witch. The latter was introduced in Left 4 Dead 2. She, is, she takes the form of a thin, pale woman with white hair and glowing red eyes. When she's in the dark, she also, also glows red, thus making her easier to spot. She is also crying all the time. And if you get too close, she will start getting angry. And if you startle her, she will attack you. In the easy and normal mode, if she gets to you, then she will incapacitate you. But in hard, expert, and advanced, I think it's called, she will instantly kill you if she hits you. She cannot be shoved back, but she can be stumbled with frag ammunition, um, propane tanks, oxygen tanks, and the grenade launcher. She has high health and she goes very fast when she gets startled, so she is often a difficult enemy to face. This is what she sounds like when she is crying, or the music when she is near. also has a third form in which where she is sitting. In the passing campaign of Left 4 Dead 2, in one of the stages, you can find her 
in a wedding dress sitting at a gazebo, yeah, gazebo, at an altar crying. And then Rochelle says, well, at least she died happy. <laughs> The tank is a kind of special infected that was introduced in Left 4 Dead 1. It serves as a mini-boss, if you will. It is arguably the most powerful zombie in the games. It takes the form of a large, muscly monster thing that <laughs> roars when it's nearby. They can be encountered at random, but there's two or three guaranteed ones, usually at the end of the levels. Um, if you get too close, or if they get too close to you, then they can punch you back and launch you backwards, dealing a lot of damage, especially if they launch you at a high place when they can actually kill you or incapacitate you. They can also lift rocks and, you know, lift concrete and throw it at you, dealing damage if they are far away. They can also throw cars, forklifts, and <laughs> rocks, knocking down an entire team, resulting in a game over. They have super high health, and are very hard to kill. But if you manage to do it, then cool, you got the mini boss of the games. They make this music when they are coming. Okay, so this last part of the video are going to be zombies, infected, and other gimmicks that did not make it into the final cut of the game, and were scrapped before the official releases. The Screamer is a scrapped special infected that was supposed to be introduced in Left 4 Dead 1. He takes the form of a man that was wearing a straitjacket, and kind of like the witch, he would not interact or pay attention to the survivors unless they startled him. Where, if they did, he would scream, hence his name, and run away, thus alerting a horde of zombies to go and attack the survivors. However, his power of screaming and running away was deemed too annoying by beta testers, so he was scrapped, and his power of attracting hordes was given to the boomer, and his screaming effect and startling effect was given to the witch. The meat wall was a scrapped special infected that was supposed to be introduced in Left 4 Dead 2. It took the form of a giant tall zombie that carried two common and headless, common infected in its hands. It had blood dripping from its mouth, thus maybe it would cannibalize the zombies, or even alive survivors, and maybe it fed off of them and got stronger. It's unknown what its purpose was, maybe it was supposed to actually be the final bosses at the end of the stages. And maybe when you kill it, it was supposed to be like a boomer or a spitter, and it exploded and damaged you with the pools of blood that surrounded it. The ability for the meat wall to pick up and throw survivors, or even take health away from them, or eat them to get stronger, or to pick up dead zombies and eat them to get stronger, was most likely deemed too difficult and too overpowered. And also, it probably clashed with the tank's throwing and tossing effects, so the meat wall was scrapped in favor of the tank. The Claws was a scrapped special infected that was supposed to be introduced in Left 4 Dead 2. It kind of looks like a monster demogorgon witch thing. <laughs> and as its name suggests, it has long claw-like fingers. 
It says that it was supposed to grab the survivor and take them away to a hidden area and claw at them until the survivor was saved. However, this power was most likely deemed too annoying by beta testers to be dealt with. So, the claws was scrapped and in its place took the charger with his ramming effect. Now this next zombie doesn't have an official name, so I'll just call her Ratlung. So this one looks like to be a severely decayed man, or that's dead obviously, and when you kill him he bursts rats out of him. It's unknown if this was supposed to be for Left 4 Dead 1 or 2, and maybe had similar effects of like the smoker, where it would like blind, the if the rats burst out of him, they would damage you or maybe blind you or slow you down. We'll never know because it only made it past the concept art stage. The hell hogs, or zombie pigs, were scrapped special infected. It's unknown if they were for Left 4 Dead 1 or 2, but I am going with the latter because Left 4 Dead 2 has swamp levels and pigs love swamps, so there you go. Personally, I would have loved it if Left 4 Dead 2 introduced zombie animals. Um, Rochelle and Ellis had a short conversation on um, that the green flu possibly spread through mammals. That includes animals. <laughs> and there's a giant pile of cow corpses. And you can also hear um, alligators in, the, in that same level. And then in Left 4 Dead 1, you can sometimes hear zombies. Not zombie dogs, wolves, or dogs howling in the distance. Speaking of zombie dogs... In the sound files, there are sounds for, like, zombie dog, but these were stock sounds, and they it was never, like, actually rendered into anything, and there's no... I've tried to find it, but there's no concept art for any dog zombies in the games, but supposedly there were going to be zombie dogs similar to that in Silent Hill 3, and the sounds were kind of similar if not identical to those ones. Alright, and that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you decide to play the games, I hope this video prepares you for all the zombies and the games.